Now we come to station 13, which is the moment where Jesus actually dies on the cross. The Bible tells us in Luke 23, it was now about noon. And when it became noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. So for three hours, the world got dark in Jerusalem. And the sun stopped shining. It was like night. And the Bible says that there were a number of miracles that actually took place during this period where Jesus is carrying the guilt and the sin and the shame for all of our sins on himself. And the Bible tells us that it got dark, the sun stopped shining. The Bible tells us that the curtain of the temple in Jerusalem was torn in two from the top to the bottom. What is the significance of that? The temple had a charge, had a curtain between the outer court and the inner court, the Holy of Holies, which said, you may not come any closer than this. But when Jesus died, that curtain was torn in two saying, we now have access to God. We all have access to God. You don't have to go through a priest. You don't have to go through a professional. You don't have to go through a preacher. You don't have to go through a pastor. You can talk directly to God. Jesus is the mediator. Jesus is the bridge between God and man because he has paid for your sins. It said the curtain of the temple was torn in two and Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And when he had said that, he breathed his last. The Bible says he gave up his spirit. Now let me ask the question, who killed Jesus? Who killed Jesus? Some people say, well, it was the religious leaders who killed Jesus. No. Some people say it was the Romans who killed Jesus. No. Who killed Jesus? I did. I did. You did. Because if we hadn't sinned, he wouldn't have needed to come and die for that sin. He took my place. He took your place. And the reason Jesus died was because he voluntarily gave up his life. He had said earlier, no man takes my life. I lay it down willingly. If the Romans had wanted to take Christ's life and he didn't want to die, it wouldn't have happened. If the religious leaders had wanted to take Christ's life and he didn't want to die, it wouldn't have happened. Jesus, when he had commit my spirit. And he breathed his last breath. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, I can't imagine what it was like for you to watch your perfect son, you in human form, coming to die for me, for us, for imperfect, failed and flawed human beings. And to watch your son die a painful and horrible death must have been excruciating. And Lord, when we hear people say, or even when we say it ourselves, where was God when my loved one died? Help us to remember that you were in the same place you were when your son died. You were grieving and you were weeping that sin would cost this much to be paid for. Thank you that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Today, I believe. I believe that you so loved me that you sent your only son to die on the cross for me to pay for my sins so that I don't have to pay that Jesus was hung up for my hang-ups. That Jesus, you died on the cross, so I don't have to die on the cross. That you paid the penalty. And I go away free because of your grace. Help me to live the rest of my life with that gratitude in my heart. In your name I pray, amen. Amen.